Uh, President Biden says people who are dealing with long term effects from COVID-19 will now have access to disability protections. First News reporter Brooke Meenahan is joining us live in the newsroom this morning with a closer look. Good morning, Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Brandon. President Biden made the announcement on the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disability Acts. He noted that a lot of people are still dealing with those long term COVID effects, things like chronic pain, headaches, brain fog, uh, depression, anxiety, things like that. One woman, Georgia Linders, has been dealing with the after effects of COVID-19 symptoms every day. Uh, she was diagnosed with chronic fatigue and a mild neurocognitive disorder. She ended up going on short and long term disability before eventually having to leave her job. So there are two basic protections under the ADA now. You can't be discriminated against against because you have that condition and the employer has to provide reasonable accommodation so the employee can perform their job. Now Georgia is now in the process of applying for Social Security Disability Insurance and when it comes to ADA protection, her fear is the difficulty employees could face long term. I am worried about people that have inflammation in their brain and wouldn't be able to keep up with their job. Now coming up in the next half hour, I'll explain who qualifies under the uh, Americans with Disability Act. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Brooke Meany and at First News this morning.